Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Sophos Home Premium again. Sophos is really quite popular for the enterprise products. They've got Intercept X, but this is their home version. And what's, I guess, I'd like to say unique about it is that it's entirely managed via the cloud console. So you don't really get any settings on the actual user interface on the desktop client. If we sign in over here, as you can see, it takes us to the dashboard. And now we can see the computers that we have connected. If we go ahead and open it, we can see that we have antivirus protection, web protection, ransomware protection, all of that stuff. Apparently it detects malicious traffic as well. So I'm guessing it does firewall stuff too. Now you can go into history and you can see everything that has happened on this device. And there you go, it detects process hacker as well. This is a trend that I'm seeing quite a lot these days. Companies seem to be erring more on the side of detecting false positives rather than missing threats. So. Well, I can kind of understand why the industry is moving in that direction. Partly it's because more and more people are using specific apps rather than random tools off the internet. So I guess in many ways it's easier to whitelist than blacklist. Plus we're seeing a lot of crypto stuff being used for malicious purposes. I'm not saying that I'm personally a fan of this, but it just seems to be the direction the industry is moving. That's all I can say about that. Um, protection, we've got general exploits, ransomware. I wouldn't say it's the most configurable product, but it's definitely very easy to use. I like the online interface. It's very clean and organized. Even on the desktop client, as you can see, it's very simplistic. One of the nice things about it is if you install it on a work computer or you install it on someone's computer who is not particularly tech savvy, they're probably not gonna notice it very much. And even if they do, they're not gonna be able to change any settings or mess with anything. That's kind of the advantage of this design choice. So that's enough of me talking. Now we'll move straight to the actual test with over 1700 malware samples, 1798 to be precise. So that's more like 1800. In here we've got ransomware, PUPs, the whole nine yards. But before we get started with that, I'd just like to say you can get this at a pretty good price if you use the link in the description. So if you do want to go ahead and buy this, consider using the link below this video. So as most of you are probably familiar, the way we run these tests is we're going to set up a network attack vector. We're going to use one of the shared folders that I have on this VM to launch all of this malware systematically so we can keep track of the proactive detection. To automate all of this, we will use a tool called Malix. Let me just try to remember what the directory was first. So I guess it's C and shared. Yep, so we're just gonna run a tool called Malix, which is going to automate all of this and we can watch the test as it goes. Keep in mind, Sophos is enabled the whole way. So I'm not disabling it. I'm not dragging any malware onto the system. We're going to run the malware from a network drive. We just need to verify that real-time protection is turned on, which I'm pretty sure it is. I'm also going to open Task Manager so you can kind of look at the CPU usage as this goes along. And now we should be good to go. Let the testing begin. So far so good, seems to be progressing really fast and we're getting the threat removed notifications. This is a really nice touch. It says a large number of threats have been detected and so notifications have been paused. It's really nice to see this attention to detail from Sophos because with a lot of AVs, this can become a real problem. So if you get too many threat notifications, they just keep coming, they start overlapping and that itself can be an issue, but it looks like Sophos handles it really well. Ooh, it looks like we had a malware execute over there. Something happened, but the test seems to be continuing fine. So I'll let that go on. In fact, let's speed it up, shall we?
All right, it looks like the task is complete. We successfully executed all files and there was only one file that was missed. I think we noticed that quite early on. It took just over 10 minutes, which is pretty fast given we had 1798 files. So now as far as I can tell, I don't see any active process on the system. Something else to note that I just noticed is Sophos Home Premium comes with Hitman Pro Alert, so it's always running in the background. For those of you that are not aware, Sophos acquired Hitman Pro and now they have those products. So it's really nice to see that they've integrated it quite well within the Sophos Home Premium package because it's not like it's a different UI or you notice it, but it's there in the background and it's part of the product. Now I want to go ahead and reboot and do the second opinion scans, but I think it'll be interesting to do one more test before we do that. As some of you might have noticed in the last TPSC video where I tested Windows Defender, I did a bit of a ransomware test. So we'll go ahead and replicate that here and see what happens. Just like last time, I've got 55 items. All of these are ransomware. Of course, most of these are fairly old, so I do expect it to catch it with signatures, but there are a few new ones in there. So we'll go ahead and run Malix all over again and see what happens. We still do have real-time protection turned on, so I'll say yes, and we're good to go. And it looks like we managed a detection of 100%. Again, not a massive surprise. As I said, these are not super new files. Many of these are months old, but it's good to know regardless. But we will do a system reboot and then we'll take a final look at the system and then we can finally draw our conclusions. Okay, so I should let you guys know that while I'm doing the second opinion scans, looks like Sophos has found something and cleaned it up apparently. So that's interesting. All our second opinion scans are complete and none of them really detected anything. Norn Power Racer didn't. Hitman Pro didn't, but that's, I guess, not a huge surprise. I also did a scan with MCSoft's emergency kit and that found nothing either. Now, if we take a look at Process Hacker, there's really nothing that I wouldn't expect to see. I also did a bit of a dig into auto runs and again, there is nothing here that I wouldn't expect to see. In all fairness, the system does look clean. Looks like Sophos did a really good job again. It does consistently impress me with how well it works even though it's entirely automated because we never got a single prompt through the entire process. So I can definitely imagine a lot of use cases where this is going to be fantastic. So once again, if you want to buy this product, this is not a sponsored video or anything, but there is a link in the description. You'll get a good price and it gives me a small kickback. So it's just a small way you can support the channel. But more importantly, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. That helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.